Yo guys, what's going on? Zace is here today with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you some new stuff that came with the 12.7 patch in Tarkov on Customs, and it is not expansion area related. This is stuff that happened with the original starting area before 12.7. So we're going to be checking out some new rooms in Repair Shop. We're going to check out all the changes with Warehouse 4. I'm going to show you where the power location is, how to tell if the power is already on, and I'm going to hopefully show you something here in Big Red. So that's where we're going to start, at Big Red, the train station. We're going to head over here. Now, luckily, got a good spawn for here and um, remember that uh, there's something new that happened up here. And I want to say, now, I have never had this much good luck in the top office area until 12.7. So I think the loot tables and the loot chances up in this area have been increased drastically. So the key for this area is fairly cheap, and I would assume it is still going to be very cheap since most people have it and did their quest up here. So in the first room, you're going to have two PCs, and both times online raid that I've come up here in 12.7. I've come up here twice. I have found a flash drive in both these computers. Not one, but two. Both of the computers I've found flash drives in. Now we are in an offline raid, and I do want to say that does affect the loot tables. So with that being said, Next time you buy Big Red, stop up here, see if you got some extra flash drives, throw them in your DOS case, throw them in your stick case, good to go. Now, another thing I want to say, this computer had a flash drive in it, and when I opened it, I got a graphics card out of it. And I want to say, also, I have never, in Tarkov, in a thousand hours of play, gotten a graphics card in a computer, and I've looted hundreds of them. 12.7 comes around, we get in tons of flash drives, and I got myself a graphics card in this computer. So that's why I'm mentioning it. It might be worth stopping up here. And in the breach room, you have plenty of loot as well. You have the possible key spawn here. A ton of different stuff can spawn there. You got your safe spawns here. And you got a jacket that could have any key in the game. It could have a Bitcoin. You never know. But it's worth stopping up there. Trust me on it. Next, we're going to head to... I think we're just going to go the whole way to the repair shop. It's going to take me a little bit. We're currently at 42 minutes. So I'm going to say it'll probably take me five minutes to run over there. So I'll meet up with you guys very soon. All right, guys. So I wanted to share a tip with you in case you don't have a factory key. If you forget your factory key and you want to hit the shortcut, but you know you don't have your factory key on you, there's actually another way to get towards that old gas area, not going in the actual old gas station to new expansion area exit. So what I'm going to show you is an area that works pretty well if we could, you know, get through the little barb trap here. And it's just a little jump spot that I showcased in my review of this area here. But it's super easy to do and I thought I would share it with you guys just in case you forget your factory key and need to get to the other area. But you don't want to go to the old gas area. You don't want to go in that gas station. There's a lot of scavs that spawn there now. Typically three to four scavs will spawn there. If you don't want to get in that engagement, maybe you're weak. You know, you still have both your legs, then you're good to go. That's all you need. So what we're going to be doing is actually taking advantage of this low wall right here. You don't have to enter the gas station area or the door over here at all. All you have to do is jump over the wall and you're good to go. So here is warehouse four. We will be heading here next. We are not going to head here now. We're going to head to the repair shop, which is still a good bit away. So I'll meet up with you soon. All right, guys, we are at the repair shop, or you could call it Warehouse 6. There's a lot of stuff in here that needs to be gone over, so sit back, relax, enjoy yourself. I'm going to give you all the information here as quick as possible. Guys, if you don't know about USEC Stash, make sure you watch my video on that. If I remember, I will throw it up in the top right corner. Two entrances to the rooms up here. Entrance 1 and Entrance 2. To the room over here, there is only one entrance right here, and you're pretty much invincible up there. Once you're up there, you either stay up there and you get smoked by somebody camping you out, or you can camp someone else out and let them come up. But if they hear you, you are dead. This is the only way up there. Keep that in mind. So, we're going to be heading up these stairs just because it's a little bit easier and I can show you all the loot. I like the stair area because you'll know if somebody's coming down. You have wood planks right here that they are bound to hit, or you have the rustling grass, which you can hear there, and the wood planks. So... There's only two wood planks in this whole area. The next one is right here. So when you hear the wood, you know the area that they are in up here. Just a little tip for you guys, but starting with the loot. Right here you have food and bullet spawns with the occasional cigarette spawn. That's all I found here. Cigarettes, food, and bullets. You have the bullets and food typically here more than there. 
and you'll occasionally have the cigarettes there. But like I said, mostly food and ammunition. Moving into the bathroom, you're going to have food spawns on the bed, none here this time around. You can have some bullets spawning towards the top. I haven't found anything on the floor, always been on the bed. Moving through here, never found anything in this part of the bathroom area, but there is a treasure spawn right here. Only thing I found here is horses, so, you know, I'm not sure if gold chains, chainless will spawn there or not, but that's all I found in the bathroom. Moving on to this room, and I'm going to show you some special things about these rooms. I'm going to show you all the loot spawns first, and then we'll move on to the special thing about this room. Tools on the shelf, more tools and various spawns here, more tools will spawn here. You got a weapon crate there. Some various stuff will spawn on these tables. I believe this is either a food spawn or a... No, actually, this is a weapon spawn. You can find magazines and stuff there. Should be another weapon spawn right here, as you can see. This one has a ton of weapon spawns. When I'm on here, like, uh, online raids, I will find three to four weapon parts here. This is a good table. Then you got um, food, food, ammunition... Um, I think another food spawn somewhere around here. And then you got these shelves. Now, I haven't really found any loot on these shelves here. So, something worth noting. Now, we got one other room. And then we'll come back in there. And I'll show you the little special thing about this building. You have a treasure spawn here. Chainlets, horses, and gold chains is all I've seen there so far. Keep that in mind. Just because, you know, the gold chain is nice to find. Anything other than that. I mean, the chainlets, they have a good barter. I can't remember what it is. Two chainlets for, I think, 20 rip rounds or something. So, if you just stick them in your gamma, you die. It's something easy to get with the chainlets. You got food spawns all throughout. Your food spawn there, on the table, right here, on the bench. And I found sugar here a lot. So, hopefully, online raids, um, you know, every time I've been here online, I haven't found sugar. But every time I've been here offline, I've almost always found sugar. So, obviously, it's a sugar spawn, but it's just, in general, a food spawn. I usually find pineapple juice. Two jackets here as well. Now, the thing about this top edition on both sides is the windows, you cannot die through them, and you cannot shoot out of them. There's no bullet penetration on these windows. I assume this will be fixed, and this is not intended. Obviously, it's not realistic. So, I'm going to show you that now. Keep an eye on the area that is shot out. You can see the bullets do not penetrate. They do not penetrate. I will show you this a little bit better example on this side here. All right, now we're going to hop up here. And I want you just to keep an eye on uh, the pipe here. And let's just shoot this out a little bit more. You can see, I'm aiming at the pipe. Nothing. These windows, you can also not shoot through them. Now, this window is the only window in the addition that you can shoot through and it's a good window you can see all of admin gate you can pretty much see where that one scav sniper sits up in the mountain i don't know the exact location but um he sits up there and you can kind of um see a nice little nice little portion right behind where um the checkpoint area is so this little area leading up to it you can see a decent portion of it and um you can see the scab that spawns down here you can see the stash perfectly if you want to snipe somebody going for stash great place to do it um a lot of pmcs will wrap around around the hill area and they will come to extract through zb 101 now the only bad thing about right here is there is no door to this so you could easily very easily be shot from the doorway by somebody crouch walking now hopefully you hear them walking on the stairs you can stand here and not make noise on this wood you can stand here perfectly the only thing the only noise you're going to make is adsing so keep that in mind great window you can see that the the bullets penetrate right through it um and you're good to go so moving on i want to show you the other windows oh i already showed you these ones is there one back here I can't remember there is. You can also shoot through that one. Um, this one, you can shoot through it. So the back windows, you can shoot through. Now, those are the only windows you can shoot through. The other ones on the other side, you cannot. And I will show you that here in a second. If you guys don't know about this sniping spot, I want to show it to you really quick. Absolutely insane spot. And you can indeed shoot through these windows. Um, this will give you a line of sight on gas station and a really a really good amount of the map i mean you have this whole oil tank area you can shoot these windows out see the train car and the ramp you can see the gas station back door obviously i have a sniper scope but um good visuals there very easy to get in the spot 
heading up to the other side of repair shop like i said this side you can only access from this door i personally think this side has the better loot and i enjoy it a bit more we're gonna head to the back room first and there's always some decent loot back here you're either getting water filters motors fuel etc all the things that spawn in all these shelves, such as the motors, the blue fuel, the metal fuel tanks, and water filters can be found on this shelf. It is essentially a loot spawn table from Ollie's. So you have water filters can spawn in this crate, motors spawn right here, blue fuel spawn here, uh, metal fuel cans there, and blue fuel right there. I don't know if anything spawns in this top shelf or not, but these two shelves, good for loot. Then you got a med bag there, which is a great bonus toolbox here and regular um just regular tool spawns on the shelves tool spawn there another toolbox and uh um, yeah for this room you're good to go i'm going to show you all the windows can't shoot through it can't shoot through it nope not a nothing there we got more windows to check here shortly we got a gym bag there heading into the bathroom you can find soap in here obviously and then you got the jacket. I don't think this soap is lootable. I think you have to actually find it on... Nope, that is a lootable soap. All right. They tricked me in one of the expansion parts, so I'm not really sure. This area is great. You have typically... Now, this is the first time I've seen a CPU fan here. But you can get any kind of tech here. But the thing I found the most is a hard drive in front and a circuit board in the back. And both of those items are used in the 60 rounder trades for both M4 magazines and and ak magazine so great to come here pick up some of the barter items you have two pcs which is two chances at graphics cards and flash drives moving into the back room there's like no point of this green screen i don't know why it's here um it just kind of seems like just wasted space in my opinion but nonetheless coming back here i believe there's like a food spawn on this bed you got a gym bag more windows that you can't shoot through like I said, I just assume this is a bug. But, um, jacket right there. Loot spawn up. Or, no, this, I think this is a tool spawn. Then you got food spawn here. Then more food spawn on the bed. Food spawn on the ground. Food spawn here. I think this is a food or tech spawn. And then, uh, not tech spawn. It's either weapon part or tool spawn. And then you got tool spawn here. Don't know if anything spawns in this locker or not. I haven't found anything personally. But, honestly, that back room is basically your biggest loot area, plus the jackets. So, now we're going to move to Warehouse 4, and I'm going to show you the power location, and I will show you how to see if the power is already on, and we'll explore Warehouse 4, and we'll be done. Alright, guys, we are at Shortcut, and the warehouse door is wide open for your Shortcut exit or entrance so this is a really easy one to get picked off now from i mean this spot right here is just ridiculous man as soon as you're stuck in the unlock animation you are so vulnerable from every side now so just something worth noting but the power location to see if the power is already on just double tap your extracts which is o on the keyboard unless you changed it as you can see the top x fill is not green we're gonna head in here is the first room on the left as you can see where we are first room on your left Come in here, turn the power on. This is the power location. Stays on permanently. Then double tap O, and you can see the X-Fill 1 is green. That's how you know the power is on. This works on interchange as well. If the safe house one is green, then the power is on. So not much loot potential in here. This is mainly a PvP area, but still a nice little addition upon everything else. So I'm just going to show you everything super quick. Not much in here, man. It's just a just a little hideaway room, really. Let's see. Not much for loot in here. A little bathroom. Not bathroom area. Not at the bathroom yet. That little area there. And then you got a um, little, little peaky little peaky window here. Pick off one of the snipers. Any of the scabs that are roaming around out here. Nice little area. And then heading over here. Got a jacket in here. You know, miscellaneous spawns that'll be in here. You cannot go out this door. Now, you can get up in this corner, and it is honestly kind of an OP spot. I'm going to show it to you so you don't get killed by it. Let's try and not break our legs. We were up there, and then we just cost it anyway. All right, we're up here. Let's try and do this for the first try. Good stuff. Good stuff. 
So, as I said, you you can get in this corner. And it's a corner you definitely want to check. Nasty spot. People come into the new area. Great place to pick them off. People are going to get used to this spot fairly quickly. But um, there's some other spots here that you can check out. You can sit up here if you want. And this one might not be as expecting as up there. People might know this one. They might not know this one. And you could actually sit on these lockers if you uh, position yourself correctly. But enough of the camping spots. Let's head up top here. I think there's like a ammo spawn back there. Nothing crazy. There's various ammo spawns across the uh, ground in this area. Now, I haven't found any loot up here, so I'm just assuming weapon parts because that's just kind of this kind of table. But uh, I don't know, personally. Big drop here. Don't break your legs. This fall will actually break your legs. Uh, do I have a serve? I do, but I don't feel like wasting the time. So we're just going to head back down the stairs. But if you're in a pinch and you got painkillers on, go for it. Right here, you can find tech spawns, which is nice. You see there's a motor there, but you can find anything you would find in Ollie as well. Usually there's hose, you know, other tech spawns like light bulbs and stuff like that. A lot of good stuff can spawn on this shelf right here. Now, I'm pretty sure I missed a little window. Um, I got that one, so I guess it's in the next room. So we'll just head in here, and you cannot get on this forklift that I know of. I cannot for the life of me get on this forklift here get a little spawn there but i've tried so hard to get up here and i just can't do it i tried you know hopping on this the railing here it just i just can't do it i'm not sure if i'm doing something wrong or if they just don't want me up there but i can't do it as you guys can see it just bugs out every time but there is a little peaky hole up here as well this one you have to go prone for and honestly too risky in my opinion just sit in the other room man don't go up here you got a whole area up there that you can be killed from. We'll check that out very soon. There is bullet spawns right here. Um, there they are. But, um, yeah, bullet spawns. So we're going to head over here. I believe there is a crate right there. Yes. Up here is probably my favorite spot of Warehouse 4. A lot of potential for camping and sniping. Me, I'm the sniper. I love sniping in this game, so a lot of potential. You got a weapon crate there. But my favorite spot is coming up. There's an ammo spawn back here. Ammo spawns right there, as you can see. A bunch of it. BT, PS, and more BT. I mean, 180 rounds of BT just chilling up here for you to mow people down if you have a sniper scope. Look at this line of sight. This is nuts. This is nuts. You have the whole left area of the expansion. And if somebody kills you, they have to come to this side of the map. They have to come over here to get your loot. And they have to come through the new warehouse. One of the hottest areas. So this, in my opinion, is a super low-risk sniping position. Yes, you could die. But if you have all your gear insured, this is a really low-risk location. Because they would have to fight over here to get your gear. That is why it is probably one of my new favorite sniping spots. And I will be sniping from here a lot. But, like I said, ammo spawns there and other good stuff. You can see everything from up here. This is just a really good power position. And for somebody to make it the whole way to you, they would have to creep walk a while. And you have a decent amount of time to react. And the metal stairs are loud. Odds are they're not going to creep walk the whole stairs. But if they do, they probably earn the kill. So, moving to the left side. We'll do this little under area. Nothing crazy in here. Got a Mosin stock. I thought that was a whole Mosin. So weapon part up there, and then you got a weapon crate. Moving towards the back, you can enter through this door. Then I think there might be another bullet spawn. Somewhere. I'm not sure where. Maybe not. But there's only one other area we have left, my friends, and that is underground. Not much down here. A little bit of stuff, a little bit of stuff, which is actually on the other side with the stuff on it. But this is mainly just PvP and the little loot area that is down here. This will be your loot area. You can have med spawns here and then ammo spawns, food spawn there as well on the bed. Gym bag and a weapon crate. Nothing else really down here for you to do except for get a, you know, flank on somebody, do whatever you need to do. 
But that's pretty much it for the new area, guys. Let me know what you think about it. If you enjoyed the video here today, make sure you slap a like on it. And subscribe if you're new, man. I like to have some Tarkov viewers back here. Um, our first Tarkov video back did great, you know, like 1,200 views. So thank you guys for sticking with me if you've been previous subscribers or just wanted to check out the new customs content. Hopefully you enjoyed this video here today. If you did, leave a like, subscribe for new channel sponsors, and equipment description below. That's all I got, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'm out.